Hi, my name is Laura and I currently work as a trainee service technician here at Ernesto Power in Fifield. So my journey began back in September 2019 when I enrolled as a student at Reese Heath College studying a level three extended diploma in land-based engineering. Part of the course was to complete a certain amount of work experience hours. And Ernesto Power being my local dealership, it only seemed suitable to approach them to see if they could help me with this. Due to the overall success of the work placement, I was then offered employment as a trainee service technician. I find the job here at Doe's so interesting because each day is so diverse. One minute I'd be in the welding bay designing and producing components for an implement to then carrying out a full combine service. Here at Doe's we have the freedom to work on all ranges of case products. We'll be carrying out routine servicing to then visiting farms taking a methodical approach to fault finding. I truly believe that the Doe's family values have been filtrated down through to their branches. Here at Firefield, the team have gone above and beyond to support and mentor me with a positive approach to my learning, whilst continually installing confidence in my ability to work on all ranges of case machinery. I find this job so rewarding because not only we're we supporting our local farmers, we're giving back to the community, but continually adapting to upcoming technology. This career may not be for anyone, but if you're someone who wishes to embark on a challenge, enjoys problem solving and can work in all weather conditions, then I thoroughly recommend pursuing a career in agricultural engineering. And finally, it never occurred to me being a woman in this industry would cause such controversy or even raise a few eyebrows. It's become evident there is not enough women pursuing a career in agricultural engineering. If I have a message for anyone, it is not to be intimidated by the fact that you're not from agricultural or any engineering background, as this should not limit your choice of career as it did not mine. I entered this industry with little if any knowledge at all, and thanks to Ernest Doe's, I was given an opportunity to turn my ambitions into a career. If anything, I hope my story encourages more young women to embark on a fun-fulfilling career in agricultural engineering. Thank you for listening.